Uh. Started with nothing, now I'm up in Nemes with 20 bands. I did the Radis and we tried to cope with the selling fan. I got a drop on my target, my niggas was marching on Million Man. A Street O Talk. In the building with Mr. Reese Films, what's poppin', baby? Shit, man, another day, another dollar to make. If y'all don't know, man, who A Street Ocho is, I'm gonna need y'all to get a load of that last video I shot. Tell them a little something about that video, man. More to come. I can't tell y'all what we shot at that. I was the first to do that. But say, he came up with a creative idea. I came in with a little bit. You feel me? That day was kind of rough, but we was on some. We was on some. We was definitely on some on that day. We will go ahead and get into this, though, man. A Street, where are you from, bro? Las Vegas, I'm from A Street. That's where I got my name from. It's not HST, it's A Street Ocho. Okay, so you're from the west side of Vegas? The west side, 89106. That's, that's, that's what's up. And I fuck with the west side tough of Vegas, for sure, for sure. So you definitely locked in. Now, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, man. Just give me a little bit about you. Shit, man, really, me, just a youngin' trying to make it 17 with a dream. 17, 17 with a you 17? Yeah, 17. Nigga, I'm 17. gonna be 18 in two weeks, but yeah, I'm 17 with a dream. Sheesh. <laughs> hey, ladies, y'all better grab Cougar's crap. You better grab him, man. He, he 18 in a couple weeks. It's hey, bad. It's bad for we him. The city up. It's bad for him. Strip clubs and all. Man. Look. They, they better book me for uh, what they call a dress. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm getting all that. So. Hey, I like I like your style, bro. You have that new wave, that young energy. You bring what rap and a and, and hip hop needs. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. well, who's your biggest influence? Like as far as like where you think you got your style from? Like you mean like what you mean like local or just in general? In general, just in general. Like who you listen to growing up? Who you think kind of had a, the best presence on your on your current energy, your current style of growing up? I say Lil Wayne, most definitely. Uh, Doe Mills, he a local artist. Um, Gates, uh, who else? Shit, Gotti. Just, that's just growing up pop, the typical, but I say local. Um, not really too much. I'll probably just, uh, what, Spitter? Spitter P, Doe Mills, Black, uh, Stunner Cole. Um, hey man, fuck Spit a P. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's my nigga, man. We just fucking around. Hey, that's, that's a hard one though. All right, okay, okay. Hey, well fuck, well fuck all that, man. We 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 know who influenced you. You your own influence, man. You your own <laughs> wave. You created your own tone. Uh, I'ma say after listening to your music, I'ma say your genre, just my opinion, is like some heartbreak shit, which is the new wave. Uh -huh. It's like that that feels. Who broke your heart? Man, look, I'm gonna keep it real. Say, I got my heart broke a couple times, but it just come with it. Like me, I'm gonna keep it real. I ain't gonna cap. Like that player shit, I'm with that. But if I don't feel like being with that at the moment, then I'm gonna go do what I wanna do. I hear you. Simple. So, so you having a you having a, a problem right now with the ladies or? No, you... I ain't having no problem. It's just that situation. And that song, that song like two years old. That was like about a couple different people in general. Right. I'm gonna keep it real. That song went about just one particular situation. Right, right, right. So do you do you do you focus your music off of uh, off of experience, emotion, and stuff like that, or you focus your music off of just like what you think the wave is popping off of? I'm like uh, I'm not an introvert, so of course I'm a feel. You feel me? So like I just focus my music based off of what's going on, like what's actually going on. I ain't finna fabricate nothing. So if I'm feeling like fuck a bitch, that's what I'm gonna rap about. Like, you feel me? If I'm feeling like I wanna make some money, I'm finna rap about that. Right. Whatever right. I'm feeling. Right. Yeah. How long have you been doing music? I started off singing, like in a choir, like at seven, eight years old. From then, just kept going. I always been writing music. My pops wrote music. You feel me? My uncles, stuff like that, just influenced me. Right. So, so what's the? You know, we gonna get into what's the? What's your next biggest goal? Like you set for yourself as far as like with this music. November fourth, my one of my biggest accomplishments. I'm finna drop my first tape, and I'm dropping it on my birthday. You feel me? Hope it go up. I'm finna promo that for 90 days, then I'm gonna drop something else for y'all. So, but my biggest goal with music in general is just to gain wealth off of it. 
because I feel like I can make it. I got potential. Right. Yeah. Now don't sell your potential. Show your potential. And when I say that, that's just as me telling you that, man. Don't don't tell nobody. I, I think I'm gonna make it. When you do make it, mm -hmm. they will see. So you just continue doing what you're doing. Yeah. Continue putting your routes out. Continue putting your music out. Continue working hard. And stay on your road, bro, because you got your own, you got your own wave. You know what I'm saying? You got your own fan base. Mm -hmm. I know that Mr. Reese knows that the people are gonna find out though. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying when you see, mean. one of my goals though, Money Man made a tape in six hours. I'm gonna try to do that. Facts. I, I heard about that. <laughs> I think you got it though. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you got that studio accessible. You could definitely I got make it happen. Too. I got right. a lot to talk about. A lot to talk about. Mm -hmm. All right. And you said your birthday is in a couple weeks. Yep. November 4th. Yep. What tape is that dropping? The Real Me. That's part one. The Real Me. Part one. Get a load of The Real Me coming soon, man. We're yeah. going to be dropping that. And then video dropping right after that. We got to keep it in motion. Cons we can't slow down. Consistency will be the key of 2019 for sure. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. 90% of the tape going to have a video. Because I feel like it's all going to go up. Right. I mean, that's where it starts. When like if you haven't noticed the new artists, they all come in with uh, a gang of videos first, mm -hmm. and that's really how you. Then you then your album that's sales. You your yeah, album. that's how you get your sales off your albums by them seeing you first. I just need to. Um, I gotta establish my YouTube page. Like, right. Work on that. That shit hard. Hey, that's all. That's all a part of the work. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna touch bases on some more stuff in the second part two interview after the album drops. We wanna see how you guys feel. You guys reactions. Y'all drop y'all comments. Y'all drop what y'all want to know about A Street Ocho. Y'all drop y'all favorite song. You feel me? First of all, follow him on IG and all social media platforms. Follow Mr. Reese as well. And we're going to get into some more interviews. A Street. Yes, sir. It's a pleasure sitting down talking to you, getting to know you, man. We will uh, continue this interview session after your tape drops so we can see the reaction. That's gonna go up. And you might you might be sitting a little different when that tape hey, drops. Y'all might have to do a behind the scenes on November 4th the whole day going up. You know what it will. <laughs> Started with nothing, now I'm up in Nemes with 20 bands. I did the Radisson, we drive the coke with the cellophane. I got a drop on my target, my nigga.